Everybody looks at me like I'm crazy when I tell them I'm an engineer going to law school, but it was pretty much all because of Duke and Gage. In Uganda, we work with a faith-based organization called Bringing Hope to the Family. I was co-teaching primary three math in the private school, and we worked on constructing a classroom building for them as well. At first, when I was in my community, I struggled a lot with why I was there as an unqualified college student to try to teach primary school students. Wouldn't it have been a lot more helpful to send a qualified teacher or just money in my place? But throughout the summer, I learned that a lot of what we give through Duke Engage is not tangible. It's the relationships we build and the perspectives that we exchange. In Uganda, the a lot of the people place such a an emphasis on relationships, um, taking the time to stop on the street and chat with somebody or have lunch. And as a Duke student, I'm like very goal oriented and used to being efficient. So that was really completely different for me. But I think ultimately it helped me to be a lot more flexible, um, a lot more adaptable and helped me to understand and see other people's viewpoints. And even if they were different than mine to value them um, and to realize that our way is not necessarily the best. I think Ugandans have the right idea with the relationships. I think Duke Engage does a really good job of allowing us to reflect on our experiences and think critically about the ways that we do service. It's really important to be open to doing anything, to be humble and not to think that you're too good to do a task just because you're a Duke student. The community leaders, the grassroots leaders, are the people that have the expertise and the skills to change their communities. It's not us. It's not outsiders. We can support them. And I think that's what we do really, really well through Duke Engage. Mm -hmm.